What's up everybody, welcome to Kaxi Gaming for another episode of TA13 Warbase and TA13 Legend League Bases. For secret bases from the top players in the world, check my channel membership out now. If you're new to the channel, I test here different TH13 base layouts in the Legend League against the best players in the world. If you love base layouts for Clash of Clans, for all town halls, just hit the subscribe button now, leave a like, and let's begin with today's base. So starting with the battle log for today, one managed to 3 star it, and the rest low percentage 2 star. Let's begin with the first replay. Got uh, many troops there, different kinds. Starting with a queen walk from the bottom corner. Balloon for their seeking mines. I'm not sure it's the best place to start from with this kind of base. So he wants to go for the eagle artillery first, I think. Got four wall breakers. Now using a baby dragon to help the queen with the funnel. Needs to release the wall breakers, don't know why he's waiting. Can definitely use one now. Maybe he's waiting for the wizard tower. Let's see if I'm right. No, still waiting. Okay, nice clean. Now two witches with two bowlers. Funneling more there. One minute 45 seconds. I'm afraid he got no time to finish the base. Needs to start the attack. Now using the rage again. Another rage. Taking out the single inferno. Maybe he's gonna start from the town hall? I don't know. So the queen's still surviving there. Nice queen charge. She's inside. Don't know why he need four wall breakers. Now two of my three ice golems are going for her. He got them out of the clan castle. And one minute left. Still waiting with his army. Definitely not a good thing to do. I don't understand why he's not attacking yet. That's really weird. And now the third ice golem is coming. Sending out the wall breakers. And look at this. 30 seconds and still didn't deploy the army. And now he's starting. 20 seconds to take the town hall and all the surroundings. And he can never do it in the 10 seconds now. Really weird attack. Really weird. Maybe he needed to get off the phone. I don't know. Yeah, 57%. Two stars. Most of the base still there. He didn't deploy all his troops uh, at all. And now for the second replay. Four earthquake spells. Ten yetis. Eight witches. Started with four next to the town hall. And another four center of the base. Lots of troops. The witches are really good for the single infernos. Funneling with some three yetis, three witches on the right corner of the base. Starting there. Single inferno will finish the yeti. And now starting the attack with all of his army. He doesn't need the wall waker, so I hope he will change for stone slammer. Oh, he did use the wall waker. Okay, really weird. Grand Warden ability pretty much saved not all, not even the most of his troops. So he did it too late. Now the world champion caught up in a tornado trap. Still got a rage spell on them. Didn't use one freeze and one wizard. Got the king, queen and world champion ability. So he can take pretty much a lot. Freeze on the single inferno, the royal champion can take it. Very nice. And now the queen will take out the second single inferno. Using her ability, eagle artillery is targeting the king. And the grand warden is coming towards the center. 
not sure why he can't do anything there and he took the x bow very nice and the air defense and went away now the king will try to take some for a few seconds and it will be two stars very nice great base to use now let's watch the next replay starting off with a battle blimp taking one two and three buildings there okay pretty nice one wizard to help with the funnel and he's not going for the dark elixir mine drill sorry it's not a mine got out the clan castle troops now deploy the queen going for a queen charge with the two super wall breakers one balloon and the healers so it's 14 miners 14 og riders will be the hybrid let's see if he can do it correctly up to now doesn't look like he knows how to attack it with it properly but let's see maybe i'm wrong Rage on the Queen, very nice. Open the section there so she can take the artillery if she will go inside. Already used two Og Riders and two Miners. And yeah, she's taking the artillery. Still got one Super Warbreaker left. Another Rage. And starting with the Og Riders and the Miners from the top side. Where is the Grand Warden? I think it's too late. Needs to use it now. Mm, yeah, used it. I'm afraid it's too late. Yeah, most of his Og Riders are gone already. I see only three there. And they are about to vanish as well. Where are the miners? Yeah, few left. Basically, if you attack like this, you need to focus on the middle of the base, no matter what, from which side. You clear the two sides of the base, and you start with the Og Riders and the miners from the middle of it. And of course, behind them, the Grand Warden and the Royal Champion. And if you do it correctly, you uh, three star almost every base, or high percentage two star. So it's a great attack strategy and now the last archer trying to take it succeeded two stars 75 percent nicely done and now for the last replay starting from the town hall with the healers the baby dragon and i don't see what's beneath the healers it's not the queen now we deploy the queen ah it's a grand warden now the yetis, the bowlers, taking a lot of damage there, the ice golems are doing a great job, delaying his attack, almost took out the town hall and that's it, very nice, most of his troops are still alive, no scatter shots, still got a jump spell and one freeze, world champion is doing a great job, can use the freeze on the single no he did not do it i think he's waiting for this yeah queen is going around nobody's going for the jump spell only one yeti and he's going for their defense maybe the yeti mites will take the single yeah very nice looking good but no one is near the center of the base so definitely not a three star needs to do more funneling if you want to get the center of the base this is why i like this base design using the queen ability and the one wizard is still pushing there on the bottom from the sides and goodbye to the queen 
the wizard will take this one and that's it I think 76% 2 stars well played great base to use I would uh, suggest for the legend league maybe as a war base you can try maybe one uh, inferno on multi hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for a new town hall 13 base layouts video see ya